Hello, I'm Kari Shanilak and welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. Today I'm going to show you how to swap faces by combining images in Photoshop. As a fashion photographer, after a shoot I will often go through the images and sometimes love a pose, but I don't love the facial expression or the model is blinking. If you have the same struggle, here's how you can easily swap the face from another image from the same shoot to get your final desired photo. For this photo, I love the pose and want to be able to use the image, and I don't like that she's blinking and I want her to have some eye contact with the camera. So I'm gonna take her face from a different photo and combine it with this photo. I have this other photo from the same shoot in the same location with the same lighting and the same editing. First, I'm going to select the lasso tool. Then I'm gonna trace around her face and I'm being pretty generous, including some hair and some parts of her neck. I am then going to copy this selection and toggle back over to my original image. Now I'm going to paste this selection into this image. The next step is to get the new face to align with the original face so that it looks natural. To do this, I'm first going to adjust the opacity of this layer. This will allow me to see both the new and the original face at the same time so I can align them better. I'm going to take the opacity down to 50%. Then taking the move tool, I'm going to drag the face so that it is as close as possible to the original. But since they are at slightly different angles, next I'm going to use the transform tool. To do this, I'm going to go to edit, and free transform. With this tool, I can rotate the face so that it will align more accurately with the original face. Zoom in more if you need to take a closer look at how the features align. You can also slightly warp the perspective of the new face to make it align better. To do this, hover your mouse over one of these white points, press command and drag to adjust. I'm doing this at multiple points so that it'll affect different parts of the face. Once you have it pretty close to aligned, you can press enter to accept the changes. I'm now going to adjust the opacity back up to 100%. Now it's time to blend the new face into the original face. From here, I'm going to apply a mask. Now we are going to paint through the mask to help the new face blend in. I'm going to select the brush tool and set my foreground color as black. Setting my opacity at 100, I'm going to start painting through the mask to get rid of the parts that I don't want. If you accidentally paint over an area that you do want, you can always switch the foreground color to white and paint it back in. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth, blending different areas of the face in so that it all looks seamless and natural. I'm also changing the size of my brush and the softness or hardness to help this. You can toggle on and off the layer to see the before and after. Also play around with the opacity of the brush to make everything blend together better. And there you have it, that is how you can easily swap faces in Photoshop. I hope this method helps you for the next time that you need to swap faces in a photo. Thanks so much for tuning into Photoshop Icebreakers and we'll see you next time.